Hello everybody, welcome to the Diablo 4 Season 1 Leveling Guide 1 to 50. This guide will show you one of the most effective ways to level a new character in Season 1. It also does start with a campaign skip, so if you haven't finished the story yet, some of these leveling methods won't work for you. First thing is, at the start of every season, you want to create a character. Make sure you skip the story when you're selecting everything. Make sure you then select a seasonal character and then hit continue. You can decide whether you feel confident enough to do either World Tier 1 or World Tier 2, but I recommend World Tier 1. You'll be spawned into Gyovashad. Right below you is a quest, which is the seasonal quest. After you accept the quest, you want to head above Kyovashad and go to the quest area. There you will find a malignant monster, which you can follow into an area called the Forest Clearing. And there you will meet and save Koromon, which is the new seasonal quest giver. Jump out of that area and turn in the quest directly next to it with Koromon. This rewards you with cages that give you the ability to collect malignant hearts from elites with a seasonal affix. After this, go just up the road and grab the Minestad Waypoint. Now is where you have two options to make your journey to level 12. You can either find dungeons with legendary aspects that you may need for your build and run through those. Or you can begin farming a malignant tunnel that has a pretty good XP gain. This malignant tunnel is called the Ravening Pit. You can get there by teleporting to Ked Bardu and Dry Steps. Then head down south to grab the waypoint in Girondi. Northeast, above the waypoint, is the Ravening Pit Tunnel. Malignant tunnels are all marked with the seasonal leaf, and that's one way you can find them. Head there and complete the tunnel. Once completed, you can begin farming the tunnel. You want to open your emote wheel and then exit dungeon. Once you teleport back outside of the tunnel, you can reset it by going to your menu, selecting your journal, and hitting the reset dungeon button. Confirm that, and then rinse and repeat as much as you want to. If you enjoyed doing the tunnel, you can farm this all the way up until level 50 for XP and malignant hearts. Once you hit level 12 to 15, depending on how powerful your character is at this point, you can start farming some strongholds. Go back to Kyovashad and then head east to Malna, which is our first stronghold. If you don't think you're powerful enough yet, you can skip this stronghold, as it has a lot harder mobs and many, many freezing effects. If you're ready to head there, stop by the Bear Tribe Waypoint. Once you're there, destroy all the enemies, kill the boss, and then ring the bell which will complete the stronghold and lock you out from doing it again. Next, you want to head to the stronghold named Nastrapa, that is west of Kyovashad. You can then finish all the objectives in this stronghold and defeat the boss. But, this time, you do not want to ring the bell. You want to log out of your character and log back on. This will reset the stronghold and respawn you right outside of the entrance of it. This method gives you the ability to farm strongholds, and will be used in every other stronghold going forward in this guide. Also, once you hit level 15, make sure you go and grab your class quest. This is the normal level for every class quest except for Necromancers, which unlocks at level 25. Around level 17, you can make your way to a new stronghold to begin farming that. This stronghold is called the Onyx Watchtower and is right below Ked Bardu in Dry Steps. This stronghold is one of the best spots to get geared while you are leveling, as there are a ton of elites in this area and each one drops an item most of the time, and is a great XP farm as well since there are so many elites. Using the same method you did in Astrava, you want to farm this stronghold until you're level 27. And remember, make sure you do not ring the bell in this area, as you will not be able to run this farm again. You will be back here, as it's the best source of farming gear until level 50. Once you hit 27, you're going to head to the last major leveling stronghold, which is the Temple of Rot. This gives the best XP 
per hour while you're leveling, hands down. You want to level here until you're about level 47 or level 50. The only issue with this dungeon is it really gives you no gear. Sometimes you will get drops, but rarely. But once things start getting a little more difficult, maybe due to your gear, you can head back to the Onyx Watchtower to begin farming more gear that's appropriate for your level. Then head back to Temple of Rot and continue to do runs there. This can be a tedious process though, so if you're starting to feel fatigue, you can always take a break and head back to the Ravenous Pits Tunnel to farm, or you can do Legion events and Whispers of the Dead for good XP as well. You'll finally hit level 47 to level 50. In this case, you can begin making your journey to World Tier 3 by completing the Capstone Dungeon in Kiovashad and uh, begin the endless Nightmare Dungeon grind soon after. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed this guide. And uh, deuces, everybody.